Hello and welcome to this MAMP Pro screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about the MySQL tab. I'm going to be using MAMP 3.073 and Mac OS 10 Yosemite. Okay, so there's only a few things here on the MySQL tab. The first uh, section at the top is the uh, uh, password, uh, where you can change your password for the head database administrator. Um, we set this up, uh, the um, head database administrator root with a root password. Um, you, it's highly recommended you change this uh, when you have to install MAP Pro. Um, this is the only place you're going to need to, or it's best to just make changes for this uh, database administrator through the MAP interface. Um, there's no need to um, change it anywhere else. Um, if you do want to create, you can create other MySQL users. You can do that through one of these three um, database administration tools. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk about uh, access, the second section here, access um, to your MySQL database. Um, I want to say two things first. Um, typically, you don't need to change this option. And number two, a lot of times you're going to get an error message, or sometimes you may, that says can't make database connection when you pull up your website. The can't make database connection means, it probably means um, you incorrectly in your code named a database wrong that you're trying to access or the username password. Um, that's what that error means. If you check boxes here, it's not going to help that error message. Okay, so uh, first, um, when it is unchecked, um, this means you're using a socket file to connect to your database. Um, this socket file is located in um, Applications map temp MySQL and I have hidden files unhidden and it still doesn't show up in Finder, or at least this edition of Finder. I don't know why. Um, if I go to the terminal, I can see my socket file. And uh, so using uh, a socket file um, restricts access to um, the your, this installation of MySQL to your local machine. Okay, so that's the default configuration that uh, MAMP comes with, accessing MySQL from a web browser, and you're fine. You normally don't have to change this. If you do want to access um, through a, a, a MySQL client from another machine, your MySQL database on this Mac, you need to um, check this and uh, check this, and um, this is a more advanced feature. You're going to have to make other security changes to your Mac, but uh, this will allow you to do it. Uh, this is a more advanced feature, and the uh, other security changes that you have to make are um, beyond the scope of this um, uh, screencast. But uh, MAMP Pro will allow you to um, get most of the way there with this, with this option. Okay, so the uh, log files are um, located here. And uh, anytime your uh, PHP, uh, or sorry, my, your MySQL isn't starting, uh, check the log files, see if you can find anything there. Uh, these are the three database administration tools that uh, come with MAMP. Most people use PHP MyAdmin. Uh, we do have some native uh, solutions as well, SQL Pro and MySQL Workbench. Um, in future editions, these may be optionally included, so you'll just see a link here to be able to download um, these applications. Okay, and then uh, one last thing with databases, you can, with under the tools section, you can uh, verify your MySQL databases and uh, just click this and it'll run a script. And if there are any problems, you can repair them with repair MySQL databases. Um, if you stop the servers, you can also make backups of just your database here, save MySQL databases, and that's going to allow you to make a, a backup of just your databases. So you might want to do that every now and then. 
Um, and that's going to conclude this screencast on the MySQL tab.